My lab at CMU is focusing on bringing machine learning and artificial intelligence into all areas of mechanical engineering. Traditionally, we are using mathematics and basically physics in order to describe many physical phenomena like I mean, fluid mechanics, stress strain analysis, uh, control problems. We have four areas of trust in our lab. One of them is uh, bringing basically machine learning algorithms in order to infer, uh, simulate and predict the transport phenomena. If you think about it, like uh, things like turbulence are very difficult to, to learn and basically to predict. Sometimes mathematical foundations of these worlds uh, cannot be sufficient in order to describe the phenomena. So what we do is that we use data, uh, ample of data, and we, we need to train basically on the data that we have from turbulence and then learn basically uh, the physics of turbulence and predict given a new situation or condition. The second area of trust in my lab is using machine learning and artificial intelligence for discovering new materials and new molecules. What we do is that uh, we train on multiple data that are generated either via simulations or via experiments and then we make a predictive model that if you give me this molecule or material what will be its uh, property so we are using like deep neural networks or graph convolutional neural networks in order to be able to model this functional map the third area of trust in my lab is bringing artificial intelligence uh, into robotics field there is a rise of uh, this beautiful algorithm called the reinforcement learning and deep reinforcement learning which is uh, really the, the biggest I think part of AI these days so that is the line of research we are pursuing here and it has two folds one of them is in manipulation which uh, robot manipulation is very important if you want to bring robots to our daily life we need to have uh, basically intelligence in manipulation and handling the objects and recognizing many tasks uh, and the second part is the giving intelligence to drones. We are trying to use uh, deep neural networks combined with reinforcement learning, which we call it deep reinforcement learning, in order to give intelligence to the drones to use only vision uh, to, to come up with basically decisions, to find their path, plan their path, and basically do a task without the need for other sensors fusion. So we are decreasing or we are making them independent. Like, I mean, human doesn't have, basically doesn't need to connect to GPS all the time, right? I mean, they can plan their way or uh, they can find basically to go and avoid obstacles uh, by only vision. You don't use your phone to just avoid, for example, some, some obstacles. So the, the fourth area of trust in my lab is using AI and machine learning in health and biology. Uh, if you think about it, like many uh, phenomena in mechanical engineering, in, uh, in chemical engineering, they are not as complex as biology. Biology is very complex. But I think AI and machine learning has this power basically to create this connection between, for example, patients, health status, and the structure of biology. Uh, the impact in the area of health obviously is like, can I find an antibody or a vaccine that can cure HIV or basically Ebola virus. My research is also trying to, to pursue is that how we can shorten this like 15 years time scale for drug discovery using AI and machine learning. The impact of my research is going to be like bringing machine learning and AI to the traditional fields of mechanical engineering and making impossible possible.